Hi there, I'm Cherie with the Mobile Internet Resource Center and today we have the brand new WeBoost Drive Sleek Cellular Cradle Booster to unbox and give you a, a, sh a preview of. It was just released by WeBoost, but first a little bit of history. Before WeBoost rebranded themselves from Wilson Electronics, they used to offer a version of this booster called the Drive Sleek as well. And uh, this is what it looked like. And when they rebranded to WeBoost, they came out with a different version of this, which was essentially the same thing, just a slightly different look to it. Um, but what this one was is it had the amplifier and the interior antenna both in one cradle. And uh, one of the drawbacks of this style of booster is the amplifier creates a lot of heat, which was directing a lot of heat. Like if you had a phone or a mobile hotspot in the cradle, a lot of heat would be dissipated into the mobile hotspot, which can cause the battery to swell. So that's one thing that is changed on this new sleek version. And they renamed when WeBoost came out, it was called the Drive 4GS. So they have brought back the sleek name, but there is some slight differences in this booster. Um, the cradle style boosters, they have a lower uh, amplification to them. It's about half that of what is rated for something like the 4GX booster, which is our top recommended one. However, these go for $500, which may not be in your budget or may not be, you may not need this much amplification. So the Cradle Booster is a much more affordable style booster priced around, this one is at $179, this new one is at $199. So it's a much more affordable, but they are only designed to boost one device at a time. So, uh, you know, there is that trade-off and it's not as strong as a boost as what you might get with a full amplifier. So let's go ahead and unbox this. Let's see what's in the box. And uh, we'll talk about some of the other differences from the older style cradle booster that uh, this is replacing. Okay, you got your typical documentation and uh, user manuals that are in here. In the box, nicely organized. I with some installation overview instructions right on the uh, the holder. So let's see. They say step one is bringing out the antenna. So this is the new interior uh, exterior antenna. This is what's going to go on your roof. Now these are designed. This style booster is designed primarily for vehicles, so automobiles and trucks. And uh, they are dependent upon the metal roof of a truck or a car to be part of the antenna. So it is what is called ground plane dependent, which means the metal underneath is actually reflecting up the signal into the antenna. So if you're putting this on a RV's roof that is not made of metal, you will need to put at least an eight inch by eight inch piece of metal underneath it to serve as that ground plane. And uh, for comparison, this is what the old antenna looked like in the old sleek and 4GS package. Uh, so they both are about four inches in height, but it is, you can see it's a lot larger. Um, but the other big difference with this antenna is the connector. The new antenna is using a connector that is called SMB. The old style and all the other WeBoost amplifiers and antennas that they call, uh, use are SMA. What this means is it's probably not going to be as easy as it was to do an antenna replacement. So for a while until there's other antenna options or adapters out, you're going to be stuck with this antenna. One other neat thing about that is the cable can run out any side. Ah, see, great points there, Chris. Um, you can see they've got, so if you, this magnetically attaches to the metal, um, and so you can move this around, and there's a, a track inside to come out whatever other side you need. So it makes it a nice, easy installation, whereas this pretty much just came out one side. There's one difference. This is the interior cradle. Now, unlike the old cradle style booster, this is just a, the antenna and a cradle. It is designed, it's got a, uh, it can go really large because today's phones are a lot larger than they were back in the olden days of 2012. <laughs> um, 
Okay, but it does not hold very well. So I'm trying to put my my smartphone in here. Yeah, your great case is too big. On yeah, the back. my case. I use a, a large case with a um, holder on the back. So I would not be able to use this with my phone without changing my case because it cannot hold. Unlike this old style, you could just flip it in that way. So this may not work for, as well as other options. And with a MiFi device, it doesn't even go small enough to hold it. You would have to use a rubber band to keep it close. Mm -hmm. and with this style of antenna and the lower power of this booster, you do want your device pretty much right on that interior antenna to get a boost because it's not going to transmit very far, unlike the uh, the higher power boosters. Um, looking at like the uh, even the bigger hotspot, even the larger hotspot. This is the Verizon 7730, their current top end booster. You would need a rubber band or something to strap this in to work, um, and the Mobley with the popular option in AT&T, not gonna, it will definitely need some sort of antenna or something to <laughs> attach it to the antenna. Um, so I, I am concerned that this, this style of boost uh, cradle is not as effective as holding as the others. So this here inside the box, this is the actual amplifier. It is, <laughs> this is separate. So this is the amplification unit. This is what is actually doing all of the power. It's taking the, it, you're going to attach the extra antenna to the top and then you'll run this cabling and that will attach somewhere. To the little dongle. And then the dongle, yeah. So the cable here, that'll attach there. It just snaps in nice and easy. This uh, piece here does not need to be out. Um, you can put this like under a seat. You can hide this piece away and then you've got a significant amount of cabling then to route this to where you actually want to utilize your device at. Um, so the advantage of having these separated is all the heat from the amplification is going to be on this bar, but it's not going to be dissipated into the antenna portion. So you're not going to need to worry about the battery swelling going on into the actual cradle and the cradle and the antenna is in this unit. And then the last piece that's in here. I'm not sure. What, oh, this that's is the, the magnetic dash piece. mount. Yeah, on the okay. vent mount. Yeah, so this piece is designed to go around a vent, like an air conditioning vent, which then uh, this is magnetic on the back, so you would just stick that. Quick and easy. Yep, so if you've got a way to attach that to a vent, again, designed for automobiles, not necessarily RVs and boats. Um, so that's how that would work. And then this is the power source. It's just a 12 volt goes into like the cigarette lighter and it's got a USB port, which is how it is uh, powered. Oh, the USB port, you can power your chargers off of it. Yep. Yeah. So okay. um, this would just uh, plug into the amplifier portion, goes into the amplifier there. And then that powers and it does leave you an open USB port for charging other devices. On the older style sleek, um, they did have the pass-through uh, charger on the side of the unit so that you could actually charge your device right in the cradle. Um, here with this sort of setup, it's assuming that you're going to have your power source and your antenna nearby, or you're going to have your own supplied power source to go with it. So that is the new Sleek. The old style uh, 4GS, which is not this version, it is slightly updated, but it's the same concept, is still available for $179. So if you think this form factor will work better for you, it is still available. The new Sleek is $199 and is now available. Um, I think there's still limited supplies on it. Um, in our testing, and we, we will be taking this into testing and testing it directly against the old style Sleek, as well as some of the higher end boosters of the 4GM and 4GX. Um, in our previous testing, we did find that um, the Cradle Booster, even though it's only rated at 23 decibel gain, um, it does give a pretty significant uh, increase in performance, both for cell phones and for data performance. However, this style of booster, which is uh, rated at 50 decibel gain, uh, typically can give a, almost sometimes double the amount of data speed improvement. Um, so if data speed is not your concern, it's just uh, solidifying the signal and getting better connectivity, 
the sleek version is a good option and a great money saving option if you're only focused on amplifying one device at a time. Uh, we will be put, uh, getting the new sleek into our testing rounds over here in the coming months, comparing them head to head with the other options. We'll be sharing those testing results with our premium MIA members who are, they fund everything that we do here. And uh, then our, after we have our testing done, we'll be integrating in our reviews into our review center over at mobileinternetinfo.com.